Welcome to the virtual college exploration for all North and South Carolina students. Sponsored by the Carolinas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers and StriveScan. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping, annou housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at CACR.org. That's C-A-C-R-A-O dot org. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website, CACR.org. That's C-A-C-R-A-O dot org. I'd now like to turn it over to our wonderful presenters. Hi, and welcome to our session. Um, we're going to get started today. So my name is Nancy Reading, and I'm the Associate Director of Undergraduate Admissions here at University of North Carolina at Pembroke. And we're so glad that you're joining us today. Good morning. I'm Kristen Woodell. I'm also an Associate Director of Undergraduate Admissions over at UNC Pembroke. We are super glad to just tell you all a little bit more about UNC Pembroke. All right, so um, as you were told, you can use the Q&A function. We will review Q and questions at the end of the session, um, but feel free to type them as they come to you. Um, if we don't get to all your questions, we will get a transcript of them and we'll be sure to answer them via email. So we're gonna start off with um, a little poll to see who's joined us today. So we're gonna be using a tool called Slido. So if you'll pull out your phones and um, go to slido.com or use this handy QR code, um, you'll be able to participate in our poll just so that we can kind of gather some information and figure out who's joined us today. All right, so I'm gonna give you a couple minutes to get logged in there and then we'll launch our first poll. All right, so let us know who's joined us today. So what grade are you in? Are you a senior, junior, sophomore, freshman, school counselor, or teacher? Oh, looks like we've got some juniors and seniors, some great school counselors and sophomores. All right, well, we are absolutely thrilled for everyone who's joined us today. And we look forward to sharing this information with you and getting to answer some of your questions. So I'm gonna turn it over to Kristen, who's gonna get started with our presentation. All right, so hi once again, everyone. My name is Kristen Woodell. I'm an Associate Director of Undergraduate Admissions here at UNC Pembroke, and I do work primarily with our freshman students. So today, I'm gonna to give you some brief information about UNCP and everything that we have to offer. So just some background information. UNC Pembroke was founded in 1887 as the Croatan Normal School. So basically some American Indian leaders from the area came together and realized that our people couldn't receive an education anywhere. So they created a school to educate American Indian teachers. Now, if you fast forward to 1996, we were adopted into the UNC system as the University of North Carolina at Pembroke. But if you fast forward to now, we are currently at our highest enrollment of just over 8,000 students. And most of those students are going to be undergraduate students. And even right now, um, even with COVID-19, our students are on campus and we are taking a ton of safety precautions and making sure that our student safety is a top priority. Here at UNC Pembroke, we have 41 undergraduate programs and 18 graduate programs with a student to faculty ratio of 18 to one. So when you see that student to faculty ratio um, with a lot of schools, that tells you about how many students per faculty member. So that means that our average class size is going to be around 20 students. Now, I am an alum from UNC Pembroke and 
I had classes where there were as many as 40 people and maybe some biology lectures, but then once we got into our lab sections, there were only 20 of us. And I even had classes where there were just five. Here at UNC Pembroke, we believe that education is best when it's personal. And we want you to know that you are a person and not a number. So on campus, you will be able to create wonderful relationships with your faculty and staff, other students, and everyone around campus is here just to make sure that you succeed. Now, one thing that we are really proud of at UNC Pembroke is our diversity across campus. We are one of the most diverse campuses in the UNC system and in the Southeast region as a whole. So like I said, we do have 41 undergraduate programs on campus and our university is broken down into five schools. We have the College of Arts and Sciences, the College of Health Sciences, the School of Education, the School of Business, and the Graduate School. So some of our top majors are criminal justice, biology, nursing, we're seeing a lot of growth in exercise sports science, of course education being our founding um, major here on campus, and business administration. So you have a ton of choices here at UNCP to really dive deep into anything from fine arts to maybe a business course or even some of those pre-professional programs. One thing that we really highly encourage students to take a part of is our Maynard Honors College. With the Honors College, there is a living learning community involved with that, which means you will be living over in Oak Hall with other Honors College students. Now, being a part of the Honors College, if you're familiar with taking any honors classes in high school, you know they require just a little bit of extra work, which is perfectly fine. That just means that some of your classes are going to be more student-led instead of professor-led. So there will be a lot of discussion happening, a lot of research and things of that sort. And there is 18 hours worth of honors coursework, but this isn't an extra 18 hours worth of work. This is some of your general education courses are considered honors courses, as well as some of your major courses can be turned into an honors course. There are also a ton of scholarship opportunities just for Honors College students, and there is a senior research project. Now, I know if you hear senior research project, you may freak out and say, I do not want any extra work, but this project is whatever you would make it to be. There was a student who graduated this past May, and for her research project, she literally painted a mural in the town of Pembroke and her project was based off of the types of art that she used. So the painting and each intricate part of it. So you really have the freedom to make that project whatever it is that you would want it to be. And to be a part of the Honors College, there it, you typically would um, receive an invitation to be a part of it, but you can also apply as well. So before we get any further into what all UNCP has to offer, we do want to let you know what campus looks like. So Miss Nancy will come back and share with you a quick video so you can actually take a little tour of UNC Pembroke. The University of North Carolina at Pembroke is centrally located between Charlotte, Raleigh, and Myrtle Beach, and our walking campus has everything a student needs. If you're staying in campus housing, you won't even need a car. In addition to Cypress, Pine, Belt, North, and Oak, our traditional residence halls, there are several apartment complexes on and adjacent to campus. Lumbee Hall, the Central Administration Building, is home to Brave Central, your one-stop shop for admissions, financial aid, registrar, and the cashier's office. All of your student administrative needs taken care of by one team in one convenient place. For food and fun, check out the Chavis University Center, where you'll find the main dining hall, bowling, billiards, mini indoor events, and more. A short walk across the UC lawn puts you in the Jones Hilton Physical Education Center, which hosts our Division II athletics as well as exercise facilities and the Aquatic Center. For the highest quality entertainment, the Givis Performing Arts Center brings Broadway and professional entertainers right to you. If mealtime finds you at the north end of campus, Papa John's and Einstein Brothers Bagels have you covered with meal plan takeout, 
or dine in if you want to eat and study or simply relax. On the south end of campus, kick back by the water feature with snacks from Starbucks or cross the bridge to Cafe 641 inside the library where you will also find a variety of comfortable study areas including tech-enabled collaborative spaces. The University of North Carolina at Pembroke has everything you can need in walking distance. For an interactive campus tour with location photos and videos, visit uncp.edu forward slash hashtag virtual tour. For admissions information, visit uncp.edu forward slash admissions. So let's jump right back into our presentation. So here at UNC Pembroke, we definitely want you to choose to be transformed. And there are a ton of things on campus that we offer that we want to make sure that you are taking full advantage of. So North um, UNC Pembroke is a North Carolina Promise School. This means that our in-state tuition is $500 per semester and our out-of-state tuition is $2,500 per semester. Now this is just tuition. There's still student fees, room and board, books, health insurance, and other costs that are associated with coming to college. But with NC Promise, it's as if you're receiving a $10,000 scholarship right out the gate. There's no special application for NC Promise. It's based on residency. So we'll talk about residency a little further into the presentation, but definitely make sure that you're taking advantage of opportunities just like this. And we do still accept financial aid and scholarships on top of NC Promise. So one thing that's important with any school that you choose to attend is getting involved. Student involvement and leadership is huge on UNCP's campus. And we find a ton of opportunities for students to really get involved. And we also find that those involved students leave the biggest legacy here on campus. So we highly encourage all students to get involved. We are D2 Athletics. We're part of the Peach Belt Conference. We have 14 varsity athletic teams, both men and women's sports. So we definitely have quite a bit for you to get involved in there. But our student athletes know um, right out the gate that in order to compete on the field, they have to compete in the classroom. So they are students first. So we want to make sure that our student athletes are our student leaders on campus. We also have over 100 clubs and organizations on campus, everything from fraternity and sorority life to academic clubs. You can definitely find something that you're interested in. Even if you like playing video games, we have a gaming club. There's pretty much anything that you can think of. And in the event that we do not have a club that you want to be a part of and you have three other friends that are interested in the same exact thing, you can create your own club and we highly encourage students to take that initiative to really get up front and create their own organization on campus, leave your legacy um, and leave that footprint on campus for other students to take a part of. We also have a ton of study abroad opportunities on campus so you can choose to go for as short as a week or two or even a semester or you can choose to go along with a group that's going with campus and there's also a ton of civic and community um, involvement on UNCP's campus and we truly do believe that volunteering is one of the best things in the whole wide world <laughs> so just last year our students did complete over 30,000 um, community service hours and we do have a way of tracking that for our students and it'll even create you a transcript at graduation of all of your volunteer efforts. So we do believe that giving back to our community is a great thing and we try to do that throughout the year. We do have days of service on campus where students, faculty and staff and community members will all come together networking and working together for the common good of something in the community. So a program that we do have is Brave Step. Brave Step is one of those programs for students who may not 
be completely ready for that transition from high school to college. So we work with some of our North Carolina Community College partners with this program and students are able to complete their first year as a UNCP student over at their local community college. And then once they complete one full year, so 30 credit hours with at least a 2.0 GPA, we bring them right back into Pembroke and they take the rest of their classes here. Now during that year at the community college, they are considered a UNCP student. So they have full access to campus, they have their Braves card, so they can come to any of our games for free, use any of our facilities, and really start getting involved on campus at that point. They just would not be able to live on campus or take their classes here for that first year. We also have a ton of pathways to success. Now with these pathways, these are gateways into those professional programs that we know a lot of our students are interested in. So over at East Carolina, we have a partnership with their Brody School of Medicine. So this is called our Early Assurance Program. You're able to actually apply to be a part of that program your senior year in high school and it's a full ride to UNCP and a guaranteed seat in the Birdie School of Medicine that's offered to two students per year. We also have a partnership with their physical therapy program where they hold two seats per year for our students. Over at Methodist University, we have a partnership with their Physician's Assistant Program. This is our newest partnership. And with that program, they are holding two seats per year for our students there as well. Over at NC State University, for students interested in engineering, we have a three plus two program. So you complete three years at Pembroke, two years at NC State, and you come out with two degrees. So in five years, which is typically the amount of time it takes a student to graduate from undergrad, you have two degrees. So from UNCP, you would either be receiving a degree in geo-environmental science or applied physics. And over at NC State, you have the option of civic, mechanical, electrical, or environmental engineering. So this is a wonderful gateway for you if you're interested in engineering. Also with NC State and Tuskegee University, we have partnerships with both of their veterinary medicine programs. So with those programs, they're holding two seats per year in both of those programs for our students. And for any questions that you would have about any of these pathways, you can definitely reach out to our Health Careers Access Program and they'll help you guide your way through those processes. Our motto on campus is that you can get there from here and we truly do mean that wherever you're there may be, we have ways to make sure that you get there. Um, most of our degree paths do require some type of internship for graduation, which means that you have that job experience as soon as you graduate. This will open a lot of doors for you and there's always a ton of things going on through the Career Center, whether it is online job fairs or an actual career fair on campus. We have interview help and resume building workshops all throughout the year. So we definitely want to push you towards your end goal. That's our main concern here on UNCP's campus. So we can't go through this presentation without talking about how to get you here. So how to get you a part of Brave Nation. So you would definitely start by creating your Bridge to Brave portal. Your Bridge to Brave portal is your one-stop shop for UNCP admissions. So in this portal, we contact you and let you know anything that you're missing and you can actually correspond with us through that portal as well. So you will create that Bridge to Brave portal at uncp.edu slash apply. So I know up until now we would typically be requesting that you complete the ACT or SAT scores, but this year, along with the rest of the UNC system schools, we are test optional, so we do not need your ACT or SAT scores if you are applying this year. However, we will need your transcript, so we do need an official copy of your high school transcript. Also, make sure that you're getting us a final copy once you graduate. 
Also, if you are an early college high school student or if you're taking any dual enrollment courses at this time, so if you're taking courses at your local community college or at a local university, make sure that you're requesting a copy of that transcript too. So you can reach out to their registrar's office and they should be able to send us a copy of your transcript. And that way we can give you credit for all of the hard work that you're doing in those classes. And also, you would be able to complete your application for admission in that Bridge to Brave portal. So you would fill out all of that information and there's a link to the ncresidency.org. So that is our residency determination service. So you would go through there, handle all of that, and then you can actually choose your major too. So you can choose your major, choose your major on your Bridge to Brave portal. And trust me, that is not binding. I changed my major three times while I was here, one being at orientation. So you have time to decide if you choose a major that you decide later on that maybe this isn't the right fit. We have a ton of resources available on campus to make sure you are finding the right fit for you. And then once you complete all of that, you should be hearing back from us within a couple weeks. And our application is open now. We are also taking part in CFNC's free application week. So that is from October 19th until October 30th your application fee would be waived. But right now we do have an application fee of $55. So here on UNCP's campus, we know that you have a ton of choices to be made. So these are just a few things that we want you to choose. So definitely, choose to be brave, choose to be a part of Brave Nation. And there's a ton of things that we will take care of once you have applied and you've been admitted. But in the meantime, I know October 1st is right around the corner, so make sure you're completing your FAFSA. That is super, super important. And like I said earlier, our application is open, so you can apply through our website at uncp.edu apply or you can apply off CFNC's website. We also want you to choose to fill at home. So UNC Pembroke does have two traditional style dorms, three suite style dorms, and two apartment complexes on campus. All of our freshman students are required to live on campus, but you can have your car. <laughs> and the only um, pets that are allowed in campus housing are fish and approved service animals. We do also have seven living learning communities on campus. This means that you're clustered. So there's a service learning, um, living learning community. So those are students who are interested in community service. There's also a nursing living learning community. So you're going through all of your classes together and you're living together to create that wonderful support system. Also, we do have our Brave Assist scholarship portal. So with Brave Assist, it's one scholarship application for every scholarship that we have across campus. Now we do have merit-based scholarships and endowed scholarships. Those merit-based scholarships, you're definitely in the running for if you complete your application by February 1st. So I'll repeat that date again, just so you can write it down February 1st for all of our merit-based scholarships. But with the Brave Assist portal, this is for any of our outside scholarships on campus. So those endowed scholarships with very specific criteria, you would complete, complete that one application and it would automatically put you in the running for any scholarship that you're eligible for. So we also want you to choose to be successful. So here at UNCP, there are a number of resources available to you just to make sure that you succeed. So we have ARC, which is our Accessibility Resource Center. So if you need any special accommodations, that's the place to go. Um, we have our Center for Student Success. That's our Writing Center, Tutoring Center, and Advising Center all tied into one nice location. CAPS, which is Counseling and Psychological Service on campus, they are open 24 seven because there's never a time when you are alone when you are at UNC Pembroke. But we want to make sure that our students are receiving all of the help that they need. We also have our Student Health Services Office. They have a nurse on call 24 seven and they are well prepared for any type of medical emergency that you may face. 
trust me, I tested them a little while I was a student here. I've gashed my hand open, I've had the flu, all types of things, and the Student Health Services Office and their staff were always friendly and ready to make sure that they took good care of me. We also have our police and public safety office on campus. So we do pride ourselves in being one of the safest campuses across the nation. So our police and public safety office is here to protect you. So we also have our Live Safe app. So you're able to even request police escorts across campus if you find yourself um, living in Cypress Hall and studying in the library around two o'clock in the morning and you don't feel safe walking, you can always request a police escort or it will let you drop a live link so a parent, your roommate, a friend can watch you on that walk if you happen to not drive to the library that night um, or that was just an example. We also have our academic and military outreach office on campus. We do have a huge military population on campus and we have Air Force and Army ROTC and all of those students kind of fil filter through the academic and military outreach office and we want to make sure that your transition to campus is as smooth as possible. Like I mentioned earlier, we have our Career Center. With our Career Center, if you need any help with resumes, getting ready for interviews, or just help finding what you want to do, they are fully staffed over there and prepared to make sure that they help you as best as possible. We also have our Center for Diversity and Inclusion on campus. This office makes sure that all of our students are equally represented on campus, and in the event that you feel that you're not that office will fight that fight for you and alongside of you. Also, we have our care team on campus. Say for instance, your roommate is in a domestic violence situation, you can submit an anonymous request through the care team for this, well, for your roommate to be checked on. And members of faculty and staff will check on that student, make sure that they're receiving all of the help that they need and help them get out of that situation. So that's just one example of the many things that the care team can take care of. We also have our care center on campus and over there we have an on-campus food pantry and closet. So if you ever find yourself without food or clothes on campus, we have a place for you to make sure that we get everything that you need. So we are offering virtual campus tours and information sessions every day. Monday through Friday at 11 and 3. So that'll give you time to actually chat with an admissions counselor and really get to see what all is happening over at UNC Pembroke. There's also a virtual open house located on our website. in the event that you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to start asking those in the Q&A box. And I'm sure that we have some more cool stuff in store for you today. All right, so we're gonna have another poll question while we get ready to answer these Q&A questions. So, we wanna know what major you're interested in. And while you're um, answering that, we're gonna 
add our first question, which was, is an essay required on the application? So we don't actually require a full essay on the application. We do request that you submit a personal statement. So it would be great um, if you just kind of tell us a little bit about yourself and why you're interested in attending UNCP. Uh, so we have one student interested in education, psychology, nursing. Those are all great programs that we offer. Ooh, more nursing students. Animal science. So we have a zoology track in our biology department. So that would be a great spot for you. And then we have those wonderful um, partnerships so that you can pursue a degree in veterinary medicine as well. So we also have with us today, um, one of our colleagues, Mr. Elijah Mebbins, who is one of our admissions counselors that works with freshman students. And he also recently graduated from UNCP. So Elijah's here to kind of answer any questions you might want from a recent graduate and a student perspective. Um, so Elijah, if you were to tell the, uh, the students your favorite part about attending UNCP, what would that be? Uh, my favorite part personally about attending UNC Pembroke is the involvement that we have here on campus. Uh, just attending those athletic events, whether those are basketball games or football games or even wrestling matches is really interesting to me as a student because it, it sparked my interest and allowed me to kind of go out and not only meet new students and uh, friends all over campus, but even faculty members that attended the events and just to kind of express my school spirit and, and kind of enjoy myself at some events that we had here on campus. Awesome. All right, so our next question is, what would you recommend for a student who wants to be in the law field or start an internship during high school or college? I would always say you can, there, it's never too early to start job shadowing and really finding exactly what you want to do. So you can go ahead and take advantage of any opportunity that you have in high school to start an internship. And then once you get here, we definitely have a ton of internships and a ton of lawyers that would like to really work with you and start getting to know you now so that you can go ahead and start building your career. And we do have a ton of students who graduated in the last couple of years who have actually gone on to enter law school or other um, other career pathways in the criminal justice field. Awesome, and definitely. And so when you're preparing for law school, there are so many different majors you can choose from and UNCP offers a variety. So. Our next question is, I'm an early college student. Should I apply as a transfer student or a freshman? As an early college student, you have that choice. So you can choose to apply as a transfer student or as a freshman student. Either way, you still receive your transfer credit. I would recommend that you would apply as a freshman student though. This opens you up to more opportunities for scholarships. So definitely take advantage of those opportunities. Apply as a freshman student, have all of the freshman perks, but you would still be coming in as a junior. Awesome. And make sure as an early college student that you do remember to send that college transcript as well as your high school transcript. All right, um, do you have a good budgeting or accounting program? We do have an accounting program over in our School of Business. That program is super tedious, but it is great. Our School of Business is internationally accredited, so that degree from here would hold a ton of weight wherever you would choose will find yourself working and there's a ton of internship opportunities available through the accounting program as well as study abroad opportunities. And the exciting thing happening here on campus right now is we are building a brand new school of business. So um, you'll have that opportunity to study in beautiful new facilities that will be right near the admissions office of Lumbee Hall. All right, let's see if we have any more questions. None yet, so Elijah, you, when you were here as a student, you majored in biology, correct? I did. 
And how was your experience in the classroom here at UNCP since we talk a lot about that one on one student faculty interaction. Oh yeah, so I had an amazing experience in and outside of the classroom here at UNC Pembroke. Um, inside of the classroom, I was really able to build upon my relationships with my students um, within the classroom and also my faculty members as well. So being able to really go to my faculty members um, before and after class to get any additional help when it comes to my academic curriculum to kind of study or to, to kind of assist me when it comes to test or um, getting the grade that I really wanted to achieve in the classroom, but also the faculty members within those classrooms helping me obtain internships and experiences outside of the classroom to help me progress my experience within my specific career field as well. Great. So we have another question about if I'm a transfer student, am I able to go ahead and start working on my major? So that definitely depends on the major that you're interested in. We do have a lot of different courses from the community college that do transfer to UNCP that are major specific, especially in criminal justice and business. Um, so we have a great transfer tool on our website that will show you what every course that you take at the community college will transfer in as at UNCP. So we encourage you to use that tool. Um, you can also reach out to me directly. Um, I primarily work with transfer students. So I'd be happy to answer your questions and help you as you move forward in your education. All right, um, this student had a question about if they're denied acceptance during early decision, can they reapply at regular decision? So typically, instead of denying early, we like to really work with our students to see what's going to happen that second semester. So we definitely will work with you as much as possible. Um, we want to see you grow as a student. So we'll let you know where we see or what areas need improving. And if you work on that, we'll definitely hold your application over to regular acceptance. Uh, we like to say that we're the Office of Admission, not the Office of Denial. So we like to work with you and make sure that we can give you the tools so that you can attend UNCP at some point, even if it's not that perfect semester. With the Brave Step program, if you have to spend a year at the community college system, that's okay. All right. I live in South Carolina. Am I considered out of state at UNCP? Yes, so you are considered an out-of-state student. However, with the North Carolina Promise Program, our tuition for out-of-state students is still very reasonable. Um, I actually am also from South Carolina. I just recently moved here. So, um, and the tuition at UNC Pembroke is actually cheaper than many of your in-state tuition institutions in South Carolina. So I would encourage you not to count us out simply because you're considered out of state. All right. So we have another participation. So let's, let's ask another poll question while y'all are thinking about any other questions you might have that you can add in the Q&A. All right, so tell us a little bit about what you learned about UNCP today and what interests you about possibly attending here. So you should see that same question come up on your phone like the last one. We didn't learn anything today. Oh, you can create your own club. Absolutely. So we definitely want you to do that if you got an interest in something. Internship opportunities. Great option for you because of programs it offers and it's a safe campus. Great student teacher ratio. These are all great responses and things we really want you to know about UNCP. So we have another question. Um, how does the North Carolina tuition promise work? So with NC Promise, all of our students fall 
under NC Promise, that basically locks in your tuition. So once you become a student here, as long as NC Promise is happening, your tuition as an in-state student would be $500 per semester. For an out-of-state student, it would be $2,500 per semester. You would have the addition of student fees, room and board, books, health insurance and things of that sort that come along with going to college. But as long as you complete your RDS, so if you go into your application and there's the, the space for residency, if you complete that application, that tells us what we're charging you for tuition. That's the only thing close to an application that you would have to do for NC Promise. All right, is there a way I can edit my personal statement on the application after submitting it? You can email the admissions office, so admissions at uncp.edu with any updates, any supplemental information that you would like to add to your application. And we are happy to add all of that to your application. Once you submit your application, you can't go back in and actually edit anything, but you can definitely send us updated copies, some writing samples, letters of recommendation, anything like that, and we're happy to read it. Yes, the more information you submit, the better. So that just email anything that you might have left off to admissions at uncp.edu. So one of our participants indicated that um, they weren't able to answer on the Slido poll, so they indicated that um, they've been looking at a lot of schools to find the most diverse courses in the field of history, and they feel like Pembroke has many courses available with the possibility of studying abroad. And so we definitely do have a lot of diverse course offerings. Um, one of the things that I think is really unique about our university is that we offer a lot of courses in American Indian Studies, um, which goes through our history, and I just think that that's something that you're not going to find everywhere. All right. So I don't see any new questions yet. So we're really thankful that all of you were able to join us today. And we hope that um, you'll share with your friends the things you learned about UNCP and perhaps you'll decide to complete your application. Um, and maybe when we start on campus visits again, we'll see you on around campus. Oh, it looks like we have one more question. Okay. All right, so I think that's everything. Got about three minutes if you want to ask any other questions. Eliza, do you want to share anything else about your experiences at UNCP just to wrap up? Um, I would like to just share um, a little bit of advice. Um, I would advise all of students that are interested in attending any college um, or, or going to any university or community college to get step out of your comfort zone and um, get involved. Just because by stepping out of your comfort zone and getting involved in the things that you are interested in, it'll just give you a lot of experience and background knowledge of um, not only different people and different cultures, um, all over the university or campus that you're currently attending, but also indulge yourself uh, fully and allow you to kind of succeed a little bit better wherever you attend as well. All right. And that's mine and Kristen's contact information. So again, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Go Braves. All right. So if there's no more questions, I'll go ahead and share my screen then. Okay. All right, so thank you so much for joining us. There will be a link to a very quick four question survey when you close this window. 
Uh, we'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide. Also, this was just one of many sessions being hosted, so be sure to sign up for any additional sessions at CACRA.org. That's C-A-C-R-A-O dot org. Um, in about a week, you'll be able to find the sessions recording as well as all of the other session recordings at CACRA.org. That's C-A-C-R-A-O dot org. Thank you.